Well, hi guys. It's Tuesday afternoon. Uh, the rain we got last night was just perfect. Um, may not look like it, but this is broke up really, really nice. Uh, you know, that's nice. <laughs> Comparatively, most years. Uh, I've got this, well, this half of the place done straight back. Uh, I just got into the big part of the field. You probably can't hear me that well because of the wind blowing. Um, Pop likes it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take any video on the tractor because it's it's so windy. Uh, and that's all you're going to hear is wind noise and I just do not do that. But I'll try it here after a bit. Uh, it, running the Harrogator, speed is not your friend. You need to let it have time to do what it needs to do. Uh, neighbor next to us over there is disking that ground up. Uh, he sprayed it burn down and he decided to come back in with a disc after there was so much there that was coming back so strong he decided to work it up and it's been a good while since it was worked up too but any rate guys i'm gonna get back at it dad gives a thumb up i give a thumb up we're gonna get after it uh maybe tomorrow i don't know We'll be planting. I don't know. <laughs> we'll start to see how this goes, won't we, Dad? <laughs> so, we'll be back here in a bit, guys. Uh, I'll try to get some video. Won't guarantee nothing, but I'll try it. So, we'll be back here in a bit.
Really? Yeah. Hey, Dad, what time is it? I have no idea. It's fueling time. It's daytime. It's fueling time. It's fueling time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set you over here. Maybe you can see. I don't know. Time of day when you gotta stop. Yep. Spend your money and put fuel in something. I know. And yes, I am using five gallon cans. Why? Because it's a lot easier for me. Lots of replanting going on around here. I guarantee you there is. There is corn up there. Some of it came out and most of it didn't. Ollie was thirsty. I bet. Tuesday. The 6th, I think. Yeah, day's the 6th. There's a bit of a funny story why we go get fuel in cans. And it's actually pretty simple. Hey Dad. It's actually pretty simple. There is a fuel distributor who's been buying up all the small places yep. they used to buy you know off-road diesel or fuel oil or that this that and the other thing won't mention their names but they implemented a few years ago a new program oh, that uh, to better how do I want to say this? To better fit their financial plan and pay for future needs and this, that, and the other thing. Well, they decided that if they're going to bring you fuel, whether it's five gallon or five thousand gallon, they're going to charge you 150 bucks to deliver it. Now, there isn't any place that I can buy off-road I can go to buy off-road diesel to fill the tank on the back of my truck. So you have to get one of these places. Well, they won't allow you to come to their facility to pick the fuel up. They have to bring it to you. 150 bucks. Well, it doesn't take long to figure out this is a bad deal for us. So now we just grab cans, go up to the local place uptown to get diesel fuel, pay the road tax on it, and be done with it. Because the new farm diesel is the same as regular diesel, except it's got the pink dye in it. Now, some guys argue with me, but at least that is the way it is around here. It all comes out of the same tank. So it's cheaper for me to go get 15, 20 gallon at a time, pay the road tax, and at the end of the year, take all my receipts and figure out, you know, how many gallon I've bought, how much it was, 
and figure up that road tax off and I can take that off my income tax. It's a pain in the butt, but it's still cheaper than paying somebody $150 to drive two miles to deliver it. Because their bulk plant is two miles from here, from the farm, to their bulk plant. Two miles. And charging me 150 bucks to bring the truck out to do that. No. Ain't going to happen. So... That's why we use five gallon cans around here. <laughs> Pain in the butt, but cheaper in the long run. Hey, all right, guys, I'm going to fire it, get a drink, something cold to drink, fire Big Ollie back up, and go out here and irrigate this field, and we'll be done with this anyway. Right, Dad? Right. <laughs> we'll be back here in a minute, guys. Well, hi guys. It's about seven o'clock. Uh, this over here was incredibly dusty, <laughs> uh, but it's all done. Uh, all this work ground here is ready to roll. Uh, <laughs> been kind of a long day. I uh, couldn't really do much. <sighs> video and over here because it was so daggone dusty and there was a lot of this unfortunately I had to harrogate twice because of my own stupidity disking but she's all done and now it's going to be get the planter out what do you think of it pop it's like flower <laughs> you know it's busted up good it'll I know the fertilizer is in, fertilizer is incorporated now and they're good should be fairly flat don't make no guarantees it's probably a little wavy but any ground you disc is going to be wavy ain't that right yep I think it's time to call it a to call it a day. Uh, hallelujah to that. Found another treasure. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> the scraper off that moline disc. Yeah, probably. And that one's been gone for a long time. Yeah. I'll guarantee you that. I just happened to look and I seen it laying just like this. Oh boy. I said, yeah. Uh -huh. So let's see, that's a, a scraper. A uh, couple of tines off the hay rake. Two or three hitch pins. What else have I found out here? I don't know. Chunks of steel. I'll, I have no idea what they are. <sighs> but I got lucky enough to find them and not find them with a tire. That's the best part. <laughs> I don't think it's time to call it a day, Dad. Yeah. So we're going to conclude this fun day. And we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. With any luck, with any luck, the next thing will be planting. We'll see you next time, guys. Me and old Oliver's done for today. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Pretty blue sky. Tell you, walk over here. And it's starting to look like it did last night. <laughs> when it come a good thunderstorm, thunder shower. Can't win for losing. It's gonna rain for sure. Oh well. At least all the groundwork is done here. The no-till ground's ready. And we all be in good shape. If it does rain. Uh 
might tack another one on to the end of this guys so I'll be back well hi guys uh, uh, I'm hoping the rain passes <laughs> I really do uh, give you a little look see uh, what the ground looks like this broke up really good it irrigated up good and she's ready to plant may not be perfect hmm. that's unusual oh pick that up and take it out of the field don't need to run that through the combine but it's all worked up now fertilizer was spread last night before the rain and if you look at this closely, this ground really doesn't go to powder. It goes into like, uh, it's hard to describe it. But if you go across the road, and this is funny to me, uh, You see the night and day difference in the soil. I mean, this is just, you know, flower. It is up here. You get down there, then it's like it is across the road. More like this. Just little clods you might say but all the field work is done uh, dissed up fertilizer put on it it's irrigated so hopefully tomorrow uh, get the planter out hook it up and go get beans to start planting um, I say the ground back to that point back there is this is worked up the rest of its no-till it was sprayed yesterday so it's looking good <laughs> it's just that I'm wore out right now it's been a long couple of three days four days or so yeah four days the rain we got last night Man, it made this break up so nice. Um, almost wished I'd have been up here earlier than I was. Uh, kind of got involved on the phone with a bunch of crap. But this looks good. Really good. This will plant nice. Good and level, nice seed bed to put seed in. This will this will work good. Easy to plant, as I put it. So that'll be tomorrow, and <sighs> day is the sixth, I believe. Tuesday the sixth of June. So I figure I'm doing pretty good. Um, neighbor over yonder is planting right now. Uh, there's 10 acres there and they worked it up today and kind of had to wait around for it to dry up so they could finish working it so they could plant it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I had my druthers, I'd just have him come over here and plant this too. <laughs> oh, well. We'll see you next time, guys. Uh, hopefully, the next time you see me, uh, we're planting. Uh, bar any major malfunctions. <laughs> so, 
we'll see you next time guys and as always please comment rate and subscribe this is a good way to end the day all the field work is done here and i'm happy now let's just start planting and worry about the other stuff later <laughs> see you next time guys